I'm looking. Yeah, we have that delay, so I, I'm looking for it to pop up. There it goes. Okay. It just popped up. Boop. There we go. Let us know you're here, guys. Yippee. We got one. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Probably>. good. <laughs> it's probably Lori, too. <laughs> Let us know you're here, guys. There we go. Now they're starting. We got two. <laughs> There we go. Now they're popping on. That it's jump members are jumping. Hey, let, let us know you're here, guys. Hey Wendy, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope the weather's gorgeous. Yay, I'm excited. It's gonna be a good one. I like when you come in, come come on, because you always have these unique twists on things. <laughs> Kateritra and Wendy's good. Hello, Carol Ann. Thank you for reminding Melinda. Yes, well, thank you, Carol. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't. She goes, yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> she knows my schedule. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Wendy, what part of Virginia are you in? It's gorgeous here. I'm in Virginia. We're over in Winchester. Hello, Catherine. How are you? Catherine is a cookier. And she has our printer and our uh, Cricut with the Food Safe bundle. Oh, nice. Yeah, she could probably teach it well. <laughs> Close, LOL, uh, Caditra, uh, is that right? Um, Caditra. And Wendy, you're on the opposite ends of the state. We are diagonally across from each other. Spent some time in Norfolk when I was really young. I'm not anymore. Let's I can't see. see you. Hello, Amy. How are you? And Sydney's on. Yay, Sid. And Hi, Kate everyone. I'm sorry. I, I can't see the comments on my phone. They're on my laptop. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so, getting them off. Okay. Kate is here from Perth. It is like five in the morning now for you, I think. Um, or, yeah. I think Thursdays is three in the morning. Let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Donna, hello from Texas. Denise says hello. Oh, it's seven okay. o'clock. Seven uh -huh. o'clock. I got it reversed, Kate. Sorry. She she gets up in the middle of the night to watch us, and I talk about it every time that we're live because I still can't believe she does it. Yeah. I don't get up for anybody. <laughs> Susan yeah. Trianos, welcome. Susan is going to be carrying our products up in Canada. Hello, Connie. How are you? Oh, nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. working on it. She's learning some tricks of the trade so that she can do everything and make it a great experience for everybody. Hello, pink lady. You don't look pink to me. <laughs> Bad joke. We're gonna wait just a couple more minutes, guys, and then we will start. Um, we gotta wait for everybody to come on. Hello, Trudy from Michigan and Lisa Morris. Hello. I'm so glad you guys are joining us. Um, so you all know, we also do a uh, live on Thursday, and this Thursday it's gonna be Kim Simons. Hello, Andrea from South Carolina. And that will be at three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then on Friday, we have our clubhouse. Yay, clubhouse. <laughs> um, that's Friday night. Hello, Tammy, how are you, my dear? I'm glad you're joining us. I love Tammy Ellie. She's wonderful. <laughs> All right, let's see what time it is. 7.03, 7.03. So, Melinda's going to be using um, wafer paper with eye designs. How many people have used eye designs that are on right now? Let us know. Hello, Lucerio Pierce from North Dakota. North Dakota. Is that right? <laughs> and let's see, who else is on? And I apologize if I'm looking around. My dog's in here. She needs surgery tomorrow. And so we're leaving afterwards to drive. 
south um, where she's having the surgery. So she, if I keep looking around, it's that's why I'm not like going nuts. Jessica Vargas just ordered her printer and she can't wait to get it. I can't wait either. Read all the directions and you'll do great. Yes. Kate has used eye designs and Susan was exploring all the lovely patterns just today. Donna printed a pretty leaf patterns and Catherine Donner, yes, she does. I bet she does. She does a lot of stuff with our product. It's exciting. And Margarita, first time I make it to your live, Melinda Ruiz. <laughs> thank, thank you, Margarita. For, thanks for coming. Lisa uses iPrint. That's great. Mm -hmm. Amy loves iDesigns. So just so you're aware, oh no, we can start now. So we'll put that in order. So as you all know, I'm Debbie. I am the founder of Icing Images. It is a woman-owned business for almost 23 years now. I'm losing track. Um, and um, I am excited because we have a live with one of our dear friends, Melinda Ruiz. I try to do this accent I don't know if <laughs> so you can tell me to stop. My kids would. No, it's okay. You're doing good. <laughs> I try. I try to fit in, you know. <laughs> so um, uh, you are M Cakes and, and Sweet Treats. Sweet Treats. I was going to say designs. I got designs on my head. Uh, um, yeah. And um, Melinda's going to show us some uh, unique like textured pattern cookies using wafer paper and eye designs. And um, it's going to be fun to see what she creates because she, she um, puts a little twist on the, you don't just decorate like you're done. You know, you, you always have a twist on it. So I'm excited to see how you do that. Mm -hmm. um, and let me just answer a couple of these questions real quick. Um, Lisa uses eye print. She said, okay, I already read all that. Um, finally got Debbie got your, your printer up good and running. It's so convenient to have. And Margarita does lots of things with our your products. Well, then you need to share them. Um, Eleanor is watching. Welcome. Gloria uses eye print and eye designs. Marissa, hello. She says hello, beautiful. She's talking to me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's talking to you. Uh, um, thank you. <laughs> Karen Harbaugh is on. Welcome. Um, so um, you're going to use uh, eye designs, wafer paper, and the printer, obviously, correct? And royal icing. Right, but I'm not. Yeah, I won't be showing the the, the printer. I'm just, you know, um, yeah. going to show the eye design, wafer awesome. paper, basically. Yeah. All right. Well, we I think we're ready to go. So uh, okay. without further ado, Melinda Ruiz. Okay, so hi everyone, and um, I'm sorry I can't read any comments, but I will go afterwards and, and respond to any comments and have. Um, I did, Debbie, if it's okay, wanted to put a plug in for our show that we're going to be having. Please so do. on May 16th, uh, Frosting Creators of San Antonio is going to be hosting a day event of uh, demonstrators. We have a really great lineup. We currently have um, 12, uh, maybe 11 to 12. So it's an all day event. Um, so please go out and um, uh, what do you call it? Get on the page. And what um, is one of the ladies here is going to actually post our link. So you can click on that and join the, the page. It's, this is on May 16th, it's free. Um, it will stay up for a while. Um, and like I said, we have some really great instructors. Uh, just to, to mention them, it's going to be um, Debbie. will be doing, uh, I think it's the printer, right? Tips and tricks yeah. on the printer. Yeah. We have uh, Mitchie, Corinne. Um, so if you actually, if you go on our page, you're going to see everybody we've listed. Uh, we have Anna Astakina with wafer paper, Susan Triano's with a, with a lemon cookie, and Amy Hicks with a 3D cookie. And um, who else? Tammy Varela. Ver I'm sorry if I mispronounced Varela, that. Yeah. And um, I'm sorry, I'm going to look on this real quick because I don't want to miss anybody. And eh, let me see here. Oh, Maybe. Michelle Timcomb with um, 
Sugar Prism, uh, Sydney Calpern, Pepsi Garcia, Monica Batala. She's from Argentina. Oh, Maite wow. de Ahead, she is actually one of our members. And Vanessa Greeley. So those are the, the instructors that we have for the day. Like I said, it's all day event, it's free. So please, please, please go out and join our page. So um, you'll be ready to, to see that on May 16th, okay? And we put the link I will be putting you. a schedule out. I'm sorry, Debbie? We put the link out and Maeve is gonna be on, on there too. She's a demonstrator too, May De Del Angel. Who? May. May. Maite. Maita. I call her May. She told me to call her May. Maita's going to yeah. be on Maita. there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mentioned her. Yeah. She will be on there too. So um, currently, like I said, I think we have our 12 um, instructors. Ooh, sorry. And um, so, yeah, please um, go and um, help. Um, <clears throat> uh, what do you call it? Uh, watch their lives and share and um, enjoy it. It's going to be a, a really long day, good day. Um, so, yeah, please. All right, thank you. So what I'm going to do today, and, and like Debbie mentioned earlier, because I am um, kind of overseeing the show, I've been really, really busy. We've been selling VIP bags. I just shipped a bunch of them out, like a lot. <laughs> So I've been busy and I actually forgot about the demo. So um, I I had this in my mind I, and I honestly, I don't know if somebody's already done this. So if they have, I'm really sorry. It's just, it was on my mind. I said, I gotta try this and see what happens. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to use wafer paper that's already printed. And what happens about a week or so ago, I made a cake and I use printed wafer paper for the cake and I had leftovers and I'm like, okay, I know we can make edible glue with wafer paper. Um, but if we use the printed one, of course it's going to get colored, you know, uh, which I've used it also, but I wanted to try something different with the, the scraps. Um, <coughs> so um, <clears throat> I'm using these two. This is a, like a little butterfly design. And oh. this one, I'm not even sure what this is, but it's just real pretty. I like the color on that one. Oh, okay. yeah. So these are the two that I'm using. <coughs> now, you printed, I, um, that, you printed that with eye, eye designs, which we were talking about in the beginning. And that is a collection of over 2,000 different images that are licensed for edible use. So what that means. Do you, do you want to get some water? I'm good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what that means is that um, you can use these images as long as you eat them. You, it's not Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Um, they're, they're licensed just for edible use. Um, and so you can actually choose from these designs and you can make them bigger or smaller. You can put what we call a cut line on there and um, set it up so that it will actually allow you to put a, a rib a, or a border all the way around the cake and it'll match up end to end. Um, and um, so this is just one of the patterns that she uses. I'm gonna go ahead and put up a link for you all so you can see what that is. Yeah. All right, go ahead, sorry. No, no, that's okay. Yeah, she, there is a lot of designs. Sometimes I just sit there going through all the designs, but, um, yeah, and, and you know, it's uh, is it a yearly membership? I have a lifetime, so I don't know how you have it set up, well, but well, it's a great, great membership. Like I said, there's a lot of designs that you can use from there. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down just to show you what I'm going to do. I have some pre-made cookies so you can see some of the different designs. Um, so let me figure this out real quick. Sorry about that. Hold on. Okay. Well, she's flipping. Um, I designs is available for a monthly, uh, like one month at a time, yearly, or See life. That um, we're up in your upper left corner, so you want to center it more and bring it towards you a little bit, probably. All right. Now we can see the Cindy Cakes logo, just the top of it. You're really close. Um, I can't see your hand. Uh, yeah, my hand's not there yet. Okay. There we go. Right there? All right. 
Uh, put your hand down where you want to want to work, and I'll tell you. Um, yeah. So you're you're if you bring it over, bring your hand over. Don't move the camera anymore because we see enough of it. Um, okay. Bring your hand towards your your right. Yeah, that's more your center right there where your fingers are. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <clears throat> so what I did, I'm gonna just show you the cookies real quick. So this is one cookie right here. I don't know, can you see that? Here, bring it towards you a little bit more. Towards you. There we go. Yep, we can see it. Okay. You see all the patterns from that butterfly. They don't look like butterflies. Right, you can't see them, but I like the different because they're just really bright and, and um, it just looks springy to me. Yeah. And so I did this one, did a diamond shape one. Oh, bring it towards you a little bit and bring it down. Down a little bit. Okay. And away from you a teeny bit. There we go. Look at that, guys. Okay. And That's so it does add the texture because of the, the, the royal icing. When I put the wafer paper on there, it, you know, they'll curl it because it's wet. I don't wait for it to dry. And um, But I like the texture that it adds to that. I can see that. And then I made... Um, <clears throat> This one, please. Oh, I like that one. That's really mm -hmm. cool. Can you see that one okay? Yep, that's really yeah. cool. And so it kind of looks like little ruffles, like a little ruffle dress um, on that. Yeah. So, but, and it's, like I say, it's really easy and it's not, you know, kind of fast. If you mess up or something, the little wafer paper is going to hide it. Okay. Uh huh. All right. So what I did is I took the wafer paper. You can see it there, right? And cut it up into smaller pieces, of course. And so if you remember a while back, I did one using the the wafer paper into confetti and put it on a fondant cake. So instead, it's very similar, but I'm going to put it on a row icing cookie instead. And um, <clears throat> so I did both of the both of the designs in in, in there. Okay. So I'm gonna do the diamond one real quick. So tell me, Deb. I'm moving away from you just a little bit. There you go. You're okay. Good. Perfect. So I'm not a professional cookier here, so don't judge my icing tips here, technique. So um, basically, I'm just going to ice the cookie. <clears throat> and I'm sorry if I'm covering it up here. No, you're good. We can actually see it. And this is good. Um, I love when people come on that, uh, I love when everybody comes on, but um i love when somebody is not necessarily that is what they're skilled at and they're showing you that it can be done even if you know they're known for something else in their industry so it just means that anybody can do this yes and i'm sure you're going to do a beautiful job better than i can do i know that <laughs> <laughs> And what gave me this idea is that I actually have an order coming up for these diamond cookies and they wanted a watercolor effect. So I was going to use the watercolor effect, you know, using the gel color and vodka. And, um, but I saw this and I was like, oh, and I showed it to them and they really liked that. Oh, cool. That's a unique way to do it. That's a great idea because the wafer is thin enough that it's going to give that, that watercolor effect to it. Mm hmm That's beautiful. You did great for not a cookie. <laughs> okay. So I just, you know, I'll I'll leave it like that. And um I just let it set for a minute or so, not too much long, because we don't want it to crust because we do want the wafer paper to, to, to sit in there. And what I did with this one, after it dried, I went ahead and just piped another line over this. And um then I used the wedding, the sugar art wedding gold, 
uh -huh. and um, just colored that up and go. So. Got it. And the only thing, the only, and I mean, this could be a little time consuming, but this is like really good for kids too. Cause it's, like I said, it really is easy. Um, is that you do use the printed side up. I mean, you can just kind of dump it on there if you wanted to, but I like, I was just playing with it and laying it down. So the cookie is still wet at this point. The cookie is wet. So as you see, it's laying flat and then it's gonna start to curl once it starts to dry up because it's getting wet with the row icing. And what I, you know, what you can do, and like I said, I mean, this this is more for small order because, you know, I went around and I trimmed it just to make it look nice because some of these were sticking out on the edge. But you're intentionally trying to get the curl off effect on this. I am trying to, like that. You see how I just messed up? It's no big deal. Yeah. Just layer another piece of wafer paper over it. Yelania says hello. She's going to be our Hi. guest. Yes, I heard. Yeah. Nice. I'm excited. I actually was working on your graphics today. I'm actually going to try to be ahead of myself. <laughs> it doesn't happen that often. <laughs> So anyway, this is all, this is really all you do is just, and you can cut these shapes if you wanted to. You could, of course, use the little, um, um, what do you call it, paper punches too, and make flowers out of them and put those on here like that. And of course, they're going to just kind of curl itself up too. Do you all have any questions at all? See, that's really easy. And it's such a unique idea that gives it an amazing effect. Um, and I love that you used the aspects of the paper, like the fact that it reacts to moisture and curls mm -hmm. as part of your design. Yes. Yes. And I, you know, like you say, we don't want to waste what we can use. So I was just finding another way to use, especially the printed paper. Yeah. Um, yeah, never you know. throw out your scraps because, as Melinda said, you could actually make edible glue with your wafer scraps. Um, you can actually make edible glue with your icing sheet scraps, too. Any mm -hmm. edible paper, pretty much, you can. Yes. So, anyway, I mean, I can just keep going, but that's the, the idea of that one. And then I would just, like I say, let it dry. And if there was any on the corner that I didn't like, I would just trim them off and then pipe another line on top and paint it gold. Well, that was really easy, huh? I'm <laughs> telling you, this is going to be really fast. <laughs> that was yes. great. So what do you all think about that? Is Are there any questions out there at all? We've got a lot of viewers tonight. Um, do you want me to tell you a little more about what iDesigns is? Because we can bring it up on our screen if you like. Yeah, go ahead. All right, let me see. Give me just a second. Are you going to do another one, though? Oh, go ahead. I can do it while you're talking, because all I'm going to do is the flower one. This one here. Oh, yeah, no, you keep going. I'll do that afterwards. Oh, it's OK. <laughs> yeah, so it's the same concept. I mean, and of course, you can use different colors. I just had white available. And um, so that's why I was using white. Plus, I wanted the the pattern to stand out more uh -huh. because it's, it's a light pattern color. But actually, I was looking at this one that I had done here on this dress. You could use, I had even thought about putting a piece of like pink fondant on here with a texture, uh, you know, like a texture mat or something you could put on here on top. You could put a, a, a different base color on here too if you want it um, to give it a different effect on that too. Yeah, I think so, also you could take a bunch of that luster dust um, from the sugar art and put it on the cookie first and then put Oh, the yes. That might be really neat. Mm hmm You guys have any other ideas that are watching? This is pretty neat. I'll tell you, I, I really love... Um, I was talking to uh, Paul 
I can't pronounce his last name either. Jack, Jack Holm. He's the um, that great chocolatier guy um, today. And we were talking about how um, a lot of these uh, events that are happening, and he does a lot of the events too, um, are now international where, um, you know, like the lives right now, for example, we have people on from all over the world um, that consistently view. And it's, you know, even though we were all pent up for such a long time, we also became closer together. And so the frosting creators, um, their um, show or, or event is, um, is another great example. It's, you know, it's in Texas, we all can get together, we can uh, virtually um, talk about our different, different products and show them because of, of technology that we have. Um, and um, we can all share together. We're right there, you know, all of us. So yes. the virtual shows have really been awesome. Everything like what you're doing is, is just, you know, it keeps the, the, the caking and, you know, the, the, the world going when we can't be together. I miss the shows, but we'll see what happens next year. We're really hoping that we can actually have a, a show next year and, you know, in base person to person. So, yeah. Yep, that'll be great. And we can mm -hmm. actually touch each other and throw things at at the at next. <laughs> I always throw pistachios at the Galperns. Um, so just a side little tidbit that nobody ever knew, huh? There you <laughs> go. <laughs> okay. That's great. And same thing. This one I'll just use. I'll actually use the the other color and. Um, again, so on the petals, what you can do is just use the, the longer shape. You can shape them if you wanted to, like these little triangles to get the points and stuff. But again, I mean, it's just something different. Just not to waste product. And I left my wafer paper out. I mean, it didn't even like, it's been out for a few days. It did, did not even dry up. It's, and it's, well, you're it's, in San Antonio, it's moist there, right? It's, it, yeah, it's hot. I was gonna be, yeah, I was gonna say something, but it's hot. Yeah. Cactus, <laughs> oh, go ahead. Very humid. Yeah, so it probably would be fine. Catherine says, I'm the flower. Could you cut out whole petal shapes using the designer design paper, make two additional layers of petals, cutting them smaller? Then, yes. Then put up large non pair I can't say that either. I'm, my language doesn't work. Perils for the for the middle. Yes, you yes. can. I actually thought of doing that too, but like I said, I'm really sorry, but out of time. And but that would be a, and it, it would just curl itself up too. So that would look real pretty. And like I say, there's so many designs you can pick for my designs to to match whatever um, event you're doing. And you can make them bigger or smaller. And when you're it, looking at it, you can kind of gauge um, the different colors you're going to see. Like, um, I think the one you have is they're, they're, they're flowers. They're, it's a beautiful pattern. Mm -hmm. um, and the other oh, one, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I love that one. It's beautiful. Um, the other one you had was butterflies, but you're not looking to cut out the shape of it. You're looking to take the colors from it. So yes. as you enlarge it or condense it, it changes the scheme of the colors. Mm hmm. Right. Correct. Mm. So cute. So anyway, yeah. Any other like questions? I say, this is this is fun for kids to do. I mean, um, because it's they they can do their own little design. I like to try different things when I have my little nieces and nephew over, and things they can easily do and play with, and which they love. Yeah, they, they love doing that. So I will let this dry, <clears throat> and then I cut out um, out of my tappets the the word mom. And then I would lay that on top and um, add the little, I had some little flowers left over too that I had made for that other cake I told you I had. So I saved some and I would use those also. You could put, you know, like you said, little pearls on there. 
Mm -hmm. So you can make this any way you want, but you see how they're curling up already? You like that? See yeah, that? Turn it sideways for a second. So you guys can see There we go. You can see it coming up now. Mm -hmm. Just. Yeah. Now press it down and it'll come right back up. So <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I like that a little different texture, but so there's yeah. that one. And then. I mean, the dress is actually the same way. I can show you that one if you like, or we can, because it's actually done the exact same way. It's so cute. And then you can, as she said before, you can pipe a different color um, on the top part, or you can add the luster onto the uh, mm -hmm. creeping, onto the royal icing, and then put it on and bring different textures and colors all together. Right. And I actually had one that I brought, but I, I think I left it in my kitchen with the, the <laughs> diamond dust that you could spray on top of that. Now, Cookie Con is coming to Texas in, let's see, October to Dallas, yeah. if they make it, you know, meaning, you know, if COVID doesn't prevent it, prevent it. Um, For and yeah, and so that's in your neck of the woods. and. If you're in Florida, they're going to be in Florida first in September. I don't think the tickets have gone on sale yet. So if it's something you're interested in, take a peek on their uh, website, cookiecon.net, um, because the tickets sell out pretty quickly. Um, and then you, we got the Ultimate Cookie Show sandwich right in the middle in Atlanta, um, the Ultimate Sugar Show. Um, yes. So hopefully we can all make it. I'm vaccinated. I'm ready. I know. <laughs> we're, we're like so excited in this office. We're trying to figure out what happens next because we've been wearing masks for so long, but we're all, most of us are getting vaccinated and it's like, oh, wow, we might actually, you know, because we do everything to keep away from each other. But it I wonder may, if they're still going to limit the, the number of people that attend. Yeah. I'm sure. So. And guys, we are on a podcast that launched just a few days ago. Um, it's called the Cake Biz Podcast. And I think you can find the information on our Facebook page. It was pretty cool. I've never done a podcast before. Um, but I really enjoyed that. And uh, she's got a lot of uh, different podcasts as well that are listed on there. And she's on all the major podcasts, you know, where you iTunes and Google Podcast, Spotify. Um, Who's so that, kind of Tabby? Nicole Bendig Lamb. Oh, okay. Um, and she's a customer of ours, but also she teaches a lot of classes and things. Welcome, Janice. How are you? So you pipe really well, so I don't know. <laughs> you don't need a disclaimer. <laughs> well, I have Susan and Amy and some others that are, are, <laughs> are on here, so I can't compare myself. <laughs> Uh, you're just fine. They're probably like, what are you doing? <laughs> now, how much do you charge? And this was going to vary based on where you live, but how much would right. you charge for like a um, dozen cookies like that? Um, the diamond one that I'm doing, and it is a very, it's a thicker, a thicker cookie. That's what they wanted. Um I think I let I and and well and she's a friend of mine, but so I let her have her for like thirty six dollars a dozen. Okay, all right. So yeah, make sure that you do not undercharge. Um, yeah. Um, this takes your time and your resources, um, and um, you know, but it, I, it's fairly easy too, which is nice. And the cost, you know, if mm -hmm. you have. That, Printer wafer paper is very inexpensive, so you're not. And you can get a lot out of this one sheet. Yeah, you know. And it's if you not save take a class, lot, just save your stocks up. Yes. Then essentially, it's free. <laughs> exactly, because you've already charged somebody else for it. <laughs> yeah. Janice is welcome, uh, on with us. She's on vacation and checking in. Where are you on vacation, my dear? This is so cute. And I'm like, I'm looking at it and seeing mosaic patterns and, you know. Yes. Um, 
And I think that's why I liked it because I like mosaics and yeah. I, I was like, oh, that I like that. So I wonder, and Sydney, I don't know if you are still on, if you can do this technique like with um, isomalt too. Whoops, I forgot to turn that off. Um, with isomalt. Um, oh, you know, sure. The wafer in like that and allowing it to stick out. Mm -hmm. Someone can try that. Easy peasy. Very. And I just noticed, see how my pinky sticks out? I, It's an old injury and I don't think about it and it sticks out, so sorry about that. We would have just, never noticed. <laughs> yeah, um, actually people have commented on it, but um, I just realized it because I could see it on my laptop. I'm like, oh, there goes the pinky again. That's okay. Yeah, anytime it goes down, it's when I actually think about it to force it down. Otherwise, it just stays up. It likes but anyway, be. so there, um, you know, that's just a different version of it mm -hmm. than this one. And again, you can just, uh, I wait for this to dry and then I'll do the top. But, you know, the other thing I was thinking was, you know, rolling up bond in with a texture rolling pin or a uh, mat. And then, mm -hmm. you know, you could put that on here with a, a little flower or a little bow or something, too. Yeah. These are really good for, for bright, bridesmaids or quinceaneras. And you can oh, match yeah. this to the dresses. And and like you say, I mean, if you're using um, the wafer paper, you can put it any color you like. And you sell colored wafer paper, the plain one, too. Yes, I so, do. Yeah. There's but, one too. Um, so, I mean, really, I'm sorry, but that's all I I, I had because um, no, I've let everything dry. But um, do you all want to see eye designs on the computer? Let me know. Um, if not, um, of course, we'll take any questions, but we do have a few minutes extra. Let me know if you want to. Otherwise, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it takes a minute with the delay. So. Um, we can't always assume they don't want to, <laughs> no one's answering and you're like, oh no, um, someone will answer. <laughs> so there's the cookies. Those are so cute. So creative and so simple, you know? Yeah. Very nice. And I like hey. these like for, for Mother's Day because it is, it's just really simple, but it's quick to do also. And, and you, all you have to do is just wait for it to dry and it's ready. Yeah. So and, uh, if you make a lot of these little, you know, use your extra royal icing, make these little flowers, drop, yeah. you know, those little drop flowers, you just throw them on there and you're done. That's great. Well, Kate wants us to do the eye designs and Carol says, thank you very much. It's a great idea. Gloria thank says, you. cool. Starla says, hey, you guys, hello's from Bama. Hi, and Starla. <laughs> And I just want to say too that um, I have a special coupon that we're going to be putting up when we're done. I'm going to go ahead and show eye designs, and this is a very short length coupon because it is um, it's a good coupon, <laughs> and we don't do these um, except once in a great while. So um, let me go ahead and um, click over to the screen real quick. Um, Gloria wants to know how long after you apply the icing can you apply the wafer paper? You did it right away, right? Yeah, just like I did now. You could wait, you know, a minute or two. I wouldn't wait. Don't wait till it crusts because then it won't really. Uh, I mean, then you'd have to like put piping jar or something on there and put it on there, which is what I didn't want to do. I just wanted to see, you know, put it freshly on the on the on the row icing, and um, I wanted that little you know, curl effect to it. So yeah, I didn't right. wait very long at all. Right. I mean, you could maybe pipe one, two, three cookies and uh -huh. then go back and start filling them in. Right. And, so that and, part, um, doesn't but, yeah. take much time either. I'm I mean, sorry? I said it doesn't take a lot of time because you got to make sure you're compensating for your time as well. Correct. So, yeah. Um, again, wait till the very end. We have one coupon that's scrolling on the bottom, but I do have another one. Um, Gloria, the wafer paper did not bleed. No. Correct? 
Yeah. No, it didn't. In fact, like so, this one um, and all these here, they've been there um, two days, and there you go. See, it's the the color of the that was printed out. There we go. Yeah. Sorry. And then the same thing with this one. So no, it didn't bleed, and and it's all fully dry now. And I'm yeah, thinking, there. We go. I'm thinking that. Um, it's because the royal icing dries pretty quick. Um, um, it takes a few hours for it to dry because I actually kept touching, I kept breaking the icing on it. Like you actually, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see here. See right there? I touched it too soon and it dented it. Uh, yeah. You know. So, I mean, it does take a few hours for it to dry, but yeah, it's nothing, it doesn't discolor the wafer paper or anything. That's great. Which is what I wanted to see what would happen on yeah. wet war icing yeah but no it did it did well judy wants to know uh can you freeze it or put it in the fridge afterwards and i haven't tried that of, so i'm not sure yeah um, that always is based on how humid or dry your fridge and freezer are that's why for some people it works mm -hmm. and some people it doesn't yeah um carol i Anna. seal mine if they're for a customer once they're dry i seal them right away you wrap them and um you know with my heat sealer i'll seal yeah. mine got it so that will protect them too from any mm -hmm. and such right, uh, right. carol Ann, a northern lights design are you talking about stars because uh, we do have stars in there gloria says thank you very much margarita thank says you. great Demo, Melinda, and Star thank you. So how thick is the cookie? Um, you know, I used. Don't know. <laughs> I I have the. Show it those, Let's see it. Uh huh. Show it sideways. We'll be able to see it. Yeah, it's pretty thick. Yeah. Somebody could tell me. It, it, I have those thick, so I don't remember. I used a thicker one. Yeah. So and they're and they're really soft. They don't get hard or anything. I love this this um this cookie. But um yeah, it is a thicker one because like I said, well these were some of my samples. But the diamond one that this is the size that they wanted. Right. Um, you can see that. Yeah. So yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. And then Judy says thank you. That's awesome. And Gloria says she loves the thick cookie. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's just yeah, take some a minute. people do and some don't. It's on your on your customer what they prefer, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it's just you got to answer what the customer give the customer what they want mm -hmm. and what so, they want to pay. <laughs> exactly, how much you want to pay? I'll make mm -hmm. it as much as you want, you know. You're right. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so this is iDesigns. I just went in and I'm going to go ahead and log in real quick. I'm not going to take a lot of time um, because we go over this quite a bit. Oh, look, it's me. What did I do? Oh, I am signed in. All right. So I'm going to go up to this printer. And then as you scroll down, you got iPrint, which we've talked about, iDesigns, template designers, and I can't read it. Um, <laughs> I think it's printer support. I have this small on my screen, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit. And I clicked the wrong thing. That's template designer. That that allows you to make different templates um, for sheet sizes that we don't have. So this is coming up right now. And um, iDesigns, as we said, is a collection of all these different images. This is the steampunk one right now. There are you go in first and it says step one, and you select the sheet size you want. Um, I'm going to just show you a large sheet because I'm not printing right now and it just gives us more space. And then when you go to this section right here, there are dozens of different folders with different um, patterns in them. So it kind of, um, kind of sections things out. We even have a lot of decorators that have shared their favorites as well. Mm -hmm. I, we got mosaic. Do you like mosaic? yeah um and so there's a bunch of different mosaic i love this one here it's really pretty what i was talking to you about now you can save it as a favorite and the pattern numbers here too so that if you're working with somebody and you write down the right pattern you know, the pattern number you can come back to it later 
Um, and you can also copy this to iPrint as well. Um, so here in step three is where you can change the height by either a drop down. I like the slider bar because I can watch it change mm -hmm. like that. And I'm going to actually take off extend the tiles for now. I'm going to show you something. So let's say I have a cake that I'm decorating and I want a two and a half inch border or I have two and a half inch cookies and I just want that much mm -hmm. uh, to show. I can actually select two and a half. Come here. And then I can actually put in cut lines, vertical or horizontal. And you saw all those lines up here. There's another one here. You just can't see it on the screen. That tells you where to cut these. So they're exactly at two and a half inches or what size you choose. And then this end matches that end. And this end matches that end. And they also uh, match up left and right as well. So top to bottom, left to right. And so you can print that out, cut them, um, and... Um, and then use them to wrap around the cake. So they'll give you seamless borders or for if you're working on a project that you just want a certain dimension. If you remove those and you, uh, oh, and you can rotate the pattern. Now I'm gonna make it bigger just so you can see um, it rotate, boom. It changes the look of it. So depending on what you're doing, not all the time, but you can also extend the tiles to give you a full sheet. I think that's how you print it and it fills up that whole sheet. Mm -hmm. You can see how you can make it tiny, big, you know, and anything in between. Um, and then also, um, if you scroll down to the bottom, we have a couple of different really cool things. We have sport theme ba backgrounds. Um, come on. Come on. We have semi bottle labels. This is cool. If you use isomalt or chocolate to make mm -hmm. bo bottles, here are a bunch of different designs for bottles and cans. We have them both. Um, and it just brings it up and it tells you how it's going to print. Um, so you know how, what's actually going to come up. Um, this one will actually print, even though it's showing this right here like that, it'll print six up like that. And then it'll print a matching little top part, you know, for the bo bottle as well. Um, then we also have, let's see the can labels so it's bottles and cans we have full sheet backgrounds for those that just want to slap an image on a cake come on sorry <laughs> come on oh, sports themes there we go um yeah and you can put little dudes on them like little football dudes or baseball dudes um and then uh we have sugar treats for designs these are just popular for when you're making cake toppers um, and using isomol. These are really cool in isomol. And like this one's, this one's wild. It messes with your eyes. And then, yeah, some of them did. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and then we even have, if you want to create your own palettes, we have some tutorials on that. I also like that you can roll the dice when you really don't know what you want, and it will bring up a bunch of different patterns. Um, and, um, so that's kind of cool as well. Caroline, I found Northern Lights pictures. I stamp flowers with these colors. All right, that's great. And Janice, you use these with the Cricut. So what she, Janice does is she prints out the full sheet and then she cuts out the shapes that she wants. So it gives the pattern behind it and you have the shape as well. So all of this, if it's something that you like, you can use the 10% coupon as well, but, um, I want to show you what the price, the way the price is. If you get our emails, um, you can actually, if you scroll down to the bottom, there's a way to get this lifetime subscription for $99. Um, and um, so you can read that if, you, if you're subscri subscribed to our newsletter. It has a one month, a one year, don't buy the one year, jump up to the lifetime. And if you read our email, you'll get it for $99. So that is... I it's worth it. Yeah. And because it's online, every time we make a change, you get that change. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So that's, that's the spiel on I designs. Mm -hmm. um, now I promised you all a coupon. That's really good. And I'm going <laughs> to deliver, let me take out, I'm going to go ahead and click this off and there we go. All right. 
Um, so, oh, good, Rebecca. I'm glad you got that lifetime subscription. You'll love it. Mess around with it. There's other cool features in there, too, that I haven't even talked about. Um, so who here wants a printer and just can't really afford it? The prices kind of went up with, with COVID. And um, does anybody want a printer? Have you been thinking about yeah, it? Yeah, I'll take another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a coupon code. Here it is. Four, two, one. Oh, it's good today and tomorrow only. And it is for $50 off the nice. entry level printer. Okay. There you go. Now you can only use one coupon at a time. So you can't use the 50 bucks and the 10%. <laughs> uh, can't do that. So if you're thinking about it, place that order today or tomorrow because I will be, um, I will be definitely, uh, it, it, it expires. It's not something we do that often, but we got some printers in a little less expensive than we thought. And I promised that I would bring the price down when I could. I just got to see if this is real. So I'm doing some coupons to kind of help people out. Um, the edible printers guys make their money back. It's a great investment um, because you can charge for this service. Um, it used to be 10 bucks a sheet. Now I think most people are doing like 15 bucks a sheet. You can sell it to your area bakers or the other decorators and, um, and just make money on it. But you wanna be able to print at least one to two times a month regularly. Um, the more you use your printer, the happier it is. And follow the directions when you get it. So many people don't follow the directions. And they're like, I have these little lines. And I'm like, what's your paper type set to? They didn't read the directions all the way through. So um, make sure when you get, get the printer, or if you have one and you didn't follow the directions, that you go back and check them. And if you, they're under our, um, if you go into iPrint, um, it will actually walk you through it. If you don't use iPrint because you use your own, um, graphics program, if you go to printer support, there's actually a video for people who don't use iPrint. Um, so, um, so definitely make sure you set that up. So I hope that helps you guys. And it's my way also of saying thanks for watching and joining in and supporting these great artists. Um, it's just my pleasure to be able to host so many wonderful people like Belinda. Uh, and make sure you support her. Um, the event she has, um, tell us one more time real quick about yes. it. Yes, so um, on May 16th, Frosting Creators of San Antonio is hosting an all day show. Um, we mm -hmm. have um, up to 12 um, instructors that are going to do demos. Um, they have up to 50, 55 minutes, so um, they'll have plenty of time to do their demos and not be rushing through them. Uh, we have some really great ones. Um, we have, um, let me, can I read them out again? Yes, let me, let me look this up real quick. Okay. Um, so Debbie, um, mm -hmm. now yours may be uh, <laughs> pre-recorded. Yeah. Mine is and, probably um, pre-recorded. We found and, <laughs> I'm sorry? It's probably will be pre-recorded. My daughter graduates that day, so it's. Okay. I'm going to be pre-recorded. <laughs> right, you're going to be pre-recorded, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mitchie. Also, I believe is another one that we have pre-recorded. Uh -huh. um, Mitchie Cron, Vanessa Greeley, Anna Asakina, Susan Trianos, Michelle Timcomb, Sydney Calpern, Pepsi Garcia, Tammy Valera, Amy Hicks, uh, Monica Patelia, Patelia, and Maite de Hane, de ha de Angel. Um, I'm sorry. She so we have 12 people um, that are going to be doing demos that day. So please, um, somebody has posted our Facebook page on there, our link. If you could just go out there and um, join that page. Um, like I said, it's an all day event. It's free. So please share it with um, your, your other groups. Um, with uh, your own page, share this because we like to, you know, get as many people to watch that day. We will have those demos stay up there for a while. Um, 
other than that, but yes, please, please, please join us on May 16th. Uh, Frosting Creators of San Antonio will be hosting a day event of some really great um, instructors doing demos that day. And uh, of course, it's all virtual. But um, yes, and thank you for for joining me. I'm, you know, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> this is what I could come up with right now. Um, and uh, I'll go back and read comments. And if there's any questions I can answer, I will answer them. But thank you again for for giving me this opportunity. Also, Deb, um, uh, always, <laughs> I'm always like, oh my gosh, she picked me. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. I really appreciate it. I love it. Well, I Thanks. appreciate you coming on, especially with your busy schedule with this show coming up. Yeah. Um, I know you're going nuts. I've seen some of the pictures. Um, <laughs> We have on Thursday, Kim si Simons. Um, I know many of you have seen her. She's an amazing artist. She's done these really cool, beautiful flowers um, with isomalt, and uh, it's something you don't want to miss. She's, she's amazing. And then next week, we have Yelani R. She's actually on tonight, um, and she's doing something themed for graduation, and then Roshi Rose. So a lot of things coming up and we have our clubhouse on Friday night. If you need an invite, then message me with, and then uh, with your phone number and make sure you downloaded that app and I will invite you. And, um, Oh, don't forget. We're giving away a cricket. It's on oh. Facebook and Instagram. Go check it out. I knew there was something that was bothering me. So yeah, <laughs> go check it out. Um, Harriet, the $50 coupon is good tonight and tomorrow. Coupon code uh, print 421 exclamation point. You can only use one coupon for, per person. It gets you $50 off the entry level printer. Okay, guys, there we go. Nice. So make sure you use that. If you're thinking about it, that's that's great. It's just our way of saying thanks, and we love you guys. So until Thursday, guys, you all have a great couple days. Stay healthy, stay safe, enjoy yourself. Uh, say something nice to the person in your house that's not next to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> and say something nice to a stranger if you see one in your yeah. mask. Okay. All right, guys. Love you. Happy decorating. Till next Thursday. Thanks again. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.